Bayer Zoghi was born in Tehran, Iran. One of eight children, he spent most of his childhood in the beautiful village of Don Belid in Talahan. I have a wonderful childhood memory, I can tell you that. Uh, playing with my families and cousins and kids. My dad, his name is Ali Akbar Zoghi. He uh, uh, is in law and, and he was practicing uh, uh, work related to the law. He loved law. My mom is a wonderful, wonderful housewife. Her name is Alam Taj Reza Khani and our parents providing a wonderful, wonderful, loving family for us. When I was 12 years old, there was a revolution in Iran and uh, people of Iran, they were shocked. I can tell you that. In each, during the revolution, they thought they were looking for freedom and after the revolution happened, there was lots of uh, uh, pain for the people of Iran uh, happened. And uh, just imagine that you're growing up here and suddenly somebody tell you, you can do this and you can do that. It was hard for people. When I was 12 years old until 22, the 10 years, it was, of course, there was a war. There was a war between Iran and Iraq war. And, and, and most of the thing that at that time, I was focusing on my school and my education. After finishing high school, he wanted to pursue medicine, but he was assigned to go to optometry school after taking the Iranian national exam. So I studied four years in optometry and I told him myself, if I am in optometry school, I need to be the best. I need to study as much as I can, like an opt ophthalmologist, like an eye doctor. So I decided to get the American Academy of Ophthalmology books uh, and I read all of them. His efforts to educate himself caught the attention of professors and he was asked to teach ophthalmology courses to students at the University of Shiraz. After graduating with a bachelor's degree, he was required to do two years of military service. He completed his service at a hospital in Shiraz. So I really wanted to come to America and try my chances. And I said, I hope that they give me the chance to be a medical doctor someday in the United States. When he arrived in Texas on a student visa, Bayer enrolled in a PhD program in medical pathology at Texas A&M University. Uh, it was a dream come true in the United States for me, something that it would be almost impossible for me if I stayed in Iran. I got my green card or residency through my postdoctoral fellowship as exceptional scientist because I was discovering something and uh, creating something that hasn't been done before. And that was the reason uh, 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 the, uh, uh, I got my green card through Exceptional Scientist program. He had to take undergraduate courses to meet the required number of credit hours, but eventually he was accepted into medical school at the Texas A&M College of Medicine. And that was the best time of my life. I was waiting for that for 20 years, and I got to what I wanted. It couldn't, I cannot tell you how sweet it was that moment. Uh, I still know where I was when I got my green card and when I applied and accepted to the medical school. When I see people that are happy and, and they go to their family and enjoying their life, that is my reward. That is what I think I was born for. That was my destiny to be. Uh, I think that my destiny to be was to be a physician. Uh, was bo before I was born, uh, that was my destiny. So I was looking for my destiny and I found it. And I'm very glad that I am in America that I had this opportunity and chance uh, to go to medical school. And I'm always thankful for this opportunity that I had. Just when he thought life couldn't be any better, Dr. Zoghi met his wife, Bahar. They were married on February 14th, 2006, and now have a daughter. My professor, uh, in medical school. He is from Texas, like seventh generation Texas. And, and I was a third year medical student, finishing second year, and he, I was doing rotation with him. And he said, hey, are, do you have anybody? Do you, are you dating anybody? And I said, no, medical school, I, I don't, you don't have time for dating. You need to study. And he said, yeah, but I know a family really match with you. And she's very nice, a very good family, very educated. I think that you guys should meet each other. And I said, okay, uh, I don't mind. So we did actually blind date. And I saw her for the first time and we sat down and talked. And I said, holy moly, that is, that, I'm very glad that I'm here.
Today, Dr. Zogi practices hematology and bone marrow transplants at the Texas Transplant Institute at Methodist Hospital in San Antonio. He has been the recipient of multiple awards, including a patent for a novel therapy in breast cancer for which he received the Texas Society of Clinical Oncology Award. He was recognized nationally as a fellow of the American College of Physicians and selected as the Early Career Physician Leader of the Year Award by the ACP Texas Chapter and a recipient of a 2019 Arrival Award, Beacon of Light, from the University of Houston. Uh, University of Houston Law Clinic has been doing a great job. Uh, they have been defending the right of people that they have nowhere to go. And uh, so they have been amazing uh, in order to defend what is American ideal is for all the people. We all the people. They really live with this motto that they still believe the same America started in 1700 for every immigrant from all over the world. They are still doing the same thing too. They are the pioneer. They are the renegade. They never get scared. They always fight for the freedom that America stands for. Well, I look at the history and I see me and my civil duty is also not only help my patient, but also the country can be also as a patient and you can do your healing things and your healing thing is defending liberty, unity, respect and freedom. We think that when we suffer a defeat that all has ended, not true. Because only if you have been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. Others may hate you, but those who hate you don't win unless you hate them. And then you destroy yourself. Congratulations, Dr. Zogi. I'm honored to be a Beacon of Light uh, and share that award with you and the rest of the Beacon of Lights. First off, I just want to say Dr. Zogi is such an inspiration. For someone who came to this country as an immigrant, he has really paid it forward, both in his uh, humanitarian work, of his medical mission work, his work in the community, and I just want to say, Dr. Zogi, you're an inspiration to not just immigrants, but to Americans overall. Thank you for all you do. Hi, my name is Edwin De Leon Castro. Dr. Zogi, <laughs> what can I tell you, my friend? Listen. But from the very moment that I met you and you shook my hand and you looked at me and you said, Mr. De Leon, there's something about you that tells me there's something in your eyes that you're going to make it. And three years later, here I am. I just want to tell you that this is a well-deserved reward, an award nobody deserves it more than you, brother. I consider you not just my physician, but a good friend and someone who I admire and you have an infectious personality and a wonderful heart. God bless you, and more rewards to come. I'm proud of you, Dad. Say one more time, we're here. I'm proud.